Making Car Sense, it's AK Happy Car 95, and I'm going to give you an update of, as far as uh, Kyle Larson's paint scheme for this week at Nashville Super Speedway. So, as it was reported last week from uh, basically jski.com and other YouTubers, or NASCAR YouTubers, it was announced that Kyle Larson will be running this paint scheme, the Valvoline Chevrolet at Nashville. Daytona night race and I believe Bristol's so I might be wrong in the Daytona one but I know Bristol's one of them so what do you guys think of this paint scheme well um, in my opinion yeah it's okay but it's not one of the best paint schemes you know like they could have gotten better with the Mark Martin throwback and put flames on it but I guess Kyle Larson is not used to having flames on his paint scheme, but it's just only plain and simple, you know, like, as you can see in the front of the left front fender, you see the Metro Tech decal on there in Tarleton and so forth, and then also Valvoline right there in the top left front fender, you know, so... It's going to be like an audition, basically, to see if Kyle Larson can keep Vavilene as, as a sponsor for the next year or two. And if he keeps winning, he may have Vavilene on his car for a long time, you know? Like, this is a start to see if Kyle Larson has changed, you know? Like, the racial slur, he knows it. He's better, and he'll... He'll get that off his mind for the year, next year and two and just keep racking up sponsors, you know. Have a better PR, have better people surrounding him and telling him advice and say, hey, your, your accident's over. You're going to gain some race fans back with all the wins you've had so far. So, so as you know, last Saturday night, he won the Texas All-Star Race, and he's a million dollars richer, so he can, well, the car owner, Rick Hendrick, could talk to some sponsors and put cash on the table and say, hey, Mr. Sponsor, do you want to sponsor our number five car for Kyle Larson? And then the CEO of the company might have to determine whether or not they'll accept it and say hey we'll go for it you know so that's not much to say about the Kyle Larson announcement it's just the Valvoline sponsorship was the first one that you know the CEO of Valvoline trusted in him and said hey I like your performance on and off the racetrack you know like you know you gotta market yourself you know, and that's the key word to keeping your sponsors happy and always being associated with that brand, you know. So, that's all I have to say about this Valvoline announcement. So, I'm AK Africa 95. Y'all have a great day and peace out.